Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have news and this news is going over to 3D Studio Max and is actually coming from the guys at Render People. So, uh, not long ago we talked about Render People and the amazing characters that you can get from their website. We actually talked about this in a free Friday episode. Link is going to be in the description so you can find these free characters that you can use. Also, We've also talked about a couple of things that has also come to Maya from Render People. But today's uh, news is going to 3D Studio Max. So, Render People have actually released a plugin that you can simply download. And the name of the plugin is Render People Studio. With this plugin, once you just run and install it directly, you'll be able to search for Render People content, purchase them directly in 3D Studio Max, and start using them immediately. So you don't necessarily need to, you know, start looking for where the file has been saved and all that. And what I've done is I've gone ahead to download this plugin directly here and I'm going to show you how you can you know get it running directly in 3D Studio Max and just in case you're wondering if you want to get the free models that's available you can click here to get the free models and other plugins you can you know go ahead and check out link is going to be in the description where you can find other plugins that exist so let's jump right into 3D Studio Max so with 3D Studio Max open here you will be able to find a menu called render people this is when you've installed it so if you've not installed it you'll not be able to find this particular menu so once you install it you can come over to this part called render people studio and click and once you do that it's going to load this particular thing up and if you're signed in already that would be super amazing because from there you can definitely get you know characters that you've already purchased and you find them directly in there I'm not logged in here so you can see it says you're not logged in and if you want to also purchase characters based on places or where or type or you know based on their clothing you can find the filters here and you can simply filter them and use them for whatever thing that you want you can also see that we also have other filters that actually specify if these things are animated characters or not animated characters and this is one of those fun ways that I would really really like to approach a character pack like this that has to do with an integration with any app at all so this is an amazing thing that these guys have come up with and I'm very very excited about it especially if you're making use of 3d studio max for your architectural visualization this is going to go a long way for you to get the characters or the models that you want directly in your scene some of the models are quite pricey though but at the end of the day it's still worth it especially if you're doing some huge projects with these things and you're super fan of 3d studio max you can also preview these models by simply clicking on one of them once they load you'll be able to see these models as they are so let's say we're taking one for example the model what that has to do with animation and if we just simply click on this you can see that this character is moving and it can add incredible life to your scenes so if you're into things like this this is going to be super super cool you know to take off the stress of you animating what you want but just simply coming through picking one of them and using them for anything that you want you can also notice that the price grades is different based on the model you're working with and if you're also into things like motion capture you can get any of these rigged ones and you know throw in a motion capture data file directly inside here and let the model get driven by the motion capture data so tell me about this and let's know what you guys think about this in the comment section below and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead hit the like button turn on notification and share it with your friends and if you're new here it's going to be super amazing if you can just hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode and until I see you guys again with the tutorial updates free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace